Yo, what is good? My anime people, what is good, yo? Guys, our golem has been at least caught in the act of being a nice person. And I think it's no better than some person that has actually helped our girl and has been willing to help us in these uh, tough situations be the person that he kind of spills the full story to seeing how he knew she was human and didn't sell them out to you know I'm probably a bunch of monsters who would love to eat human flesh that would be worth money just knowing that there's a human somewhere not only that it's just this world seems so chaotic with the monsters in control that it's not too unfamiliar of what humans were do are doing with their lives, right? So, they're kind of saying even without humans, you act like humans, right? You have human traits about them. And this uh, town of thieves pretty much summarizes that with people just being on all over the street corners, kind of picking fights, picking money, and above all else, probably killing in back streets, you know? So, it's these types of places that you can imagine exist, um, but you just never want our little girl in these areas, right? Like, why is she in this area? Do I have to slap a golem or two? Like, I'll, I'll slap a golem. I'm not afraid to slap a golem, you know? But regardless, it's one of these things where I'm just looking forward to, uh, you know, watching it play out. But it's i'm not looking forward to seeing what this guy this golem has to do man or what he at, uh, attempts at doing right like i see a more or less starting uh a family area uh you know for her to grow up in if he goes and have you know maybe the harpy maybe these two demons uh uh you know the bunny all of them have knowledge of just where she's at and, you know, they go and visit her or maybe live there. Um, or, you know, they just live close by or something. But at the end of the day, it does not feel like the the proper ending that the golem is looking forward to is going to be the actual ending is my problem. Um, the actual ending he's kind of about to receive is... Her just being somewhere at the last seconds of his time of being able to help her, you know, and I I couldn't imagine her leaving a place where his body still remains at this point, including at her age and the attachment she has, um, her attachment's only going to get broader and, you know, a lot more deeper the longer they're together, so... That's that's the other thing of my mind is if he ends up passing away in a place like the desert that they were in, she would probably stay there and try to live there as long as possible until she maybe figures out that that's not what she he would want her to do and he would want her to be safe and not in such a hazard area. But regardless, that's her decision she's going to have to make at some point, which is the real like hard pill to swallow in this show is sooner or later she might be alone and what better place to actually leave her with was these people that she has bonds with that she even knows she has bonds with so <sighs> we will see how all of this plays out um but yeah the demon is a real one to to truly go out of their way and still be kind and courteous and all this stuff to a human who seeing humans and seeing monsters and what they've done to each other they're both just brutal um and there could be any numbers of things that could have happened between this you know just random encounters and stuff like that so you'd never just know what anyone's gone through until they really kind of just let you in and we still don't know what these demons kind of are going through like why are they traveling all the way out here for just some more herbs and stuff to help or is this more of a case where they kind of are better off moving sooner than later at times so they can uh, just, I don't know, whatever, get away from things from where they are. So at the end of the day, I did not think I was going to survive that. And I think 
we'll be seeing a lot more of ridiculous stuff popping off with this show. Uh, just in the grand scheme of what is going, what is he going to do with his remaining time? Um, I'm pretty sure that this demon also knows about him decaying. I think I think he had like a chip of the golem as well. So there's there's a lot of indicators that are pointing towards uh, this whole journey leaving off with like everybody that cared for the golem kind of just stepping in and supporting this girl in my opinion I know I'm kind of looking far into the future but I'm also just thinking of what is the best case scenario than just leaving her with a bunch of humans who might then end up getting attacked by monsters and then she's just there and is one of the food you know, like, what the heck? What was all this? This whole journey was to put her in a place where monsters are going to now want to eat the whole entire village that she's a part of. Or kingdom or tiny little pocket of people, you know? Like, the story has a very big flaw. And that big flaw is the fact of the journey at hand. The actual journey is the flaw. And anyone could tell that if you were just skeptical of how many humans actually make it out of this world we have monsters that can just fly wherever they want they can swim under probably better than any of us can swim there's new areas that you know even some monsters the monsters i'm saying that live in normal human clothes and stuff like that they still consider monsters that are just like roaming around under some giant grandiose town you know so there's a lot to be to take in with this world and to think that sooner sooner than later she's going to lose this man who has been there for her and helped her conquer the world and i thought about it too she saw him fighting and she was like impressed by the fighting so i was like okay she's not scared by him beating up people and stuff she's more or less uh impressed so it's it's getting to be a really good show and i honestly think if you are waiting on it and you're just you know hearing by episode by episode if it's good definitely are going to enjoy your binge watching when this one comes out also i seen the dub is about like four episodes in as well so all the dub people will be talking about it sooner or later uh so that's gonna be cool but regardless everybody i hope you're having an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this i do hope to uh get as much videos out as i can uh sooner it's better late than never want the video because these are just the types of days i was trying to warn you guys about i don't know when i can get back sometimes it's gonna be later sometimes it'll be earlier and when i do i will always try to get these videos out to you so with that being said later <laughs>